What's up everyone? My name is Asen Marr and I'm a third year electromechanical engineering major here at Cal Poly Pomona. And I'm also the current president for the Bronco Motorsports team here on campus. We are a collegiate level motorsports team that really strives to apply the knowledge that we learn in classrooms into real world experiences. And it really parallels Cal Poly Pomona's learn by doing philosophy. Formula SAE is a design competition where we design, manufacture, and test an open wheel race car from the ground up every year and compete against other colleges from across the world. We use high quality materials such as carbon fiber, titanium, and chromoly steel to manufacture and create the, the lightest, most powerful car that we can. Here we have our in-house dynamometer and we use this tool to really test the performance out of the engine, see how much power it's making. And we can also use this tool to, to see if a higher flowing exhaust or a better intake actually does make more power out of the engine. Uh, we also use the Motec M1 software that we have to really tune and maximize the performance out of this beast. Um, here we have the computer for the dyno and this is uh, where all of the controls for the dyno are. Uh, we can test basically how much horsepower and torque the engines are producing. Um, here we have another laptop here that um, controls how much fuel goes into the engine because uh, we try to tune the engine to have the most amount of horsepower which means we have to really adjust how much fuel gets injected into the engine. Um, and that really drastically improves our power numbers. Um, and we have the controls for the engine. So it, this, as you can see, is just a, just like a, a little cart. It's not really the entire car. So we need basically a gas pedal and clutch to control it on the dyno. And these are these controls. So this is the clutch handle, which basically releases um, and engages the wheels on the engine. Here we have the gas pedal, which is how we control the throttle, basically. Um, and we also have this little box. This is like an emergency stop, so if anything goes wrong, we'll hit this button and it'll, it'll turn off the engine, um, as well as a fan switch, water pump, and the start button. The design process is an iterative process here at CPPFSE. It goes over a few months of time in which all of our team members will work on new CAD models to improve upon the previous designs that we saw before. Every single component that you see on the car is CAD model, whether it goes all the way down to the nuts and bolts and everything else, washers, all the way up to some of the big things you see, like the rear wing. Everything has to be CAD model. It's how we check and make sure everything fits first and that our designs are improving on the previous years from before. Here's another example like the steering wheel. When you come in and look everything close up, all of the switches, the magnets, the wiring, everything in this case has been CAD modeled, then manufactured by our students moving forward. Another close in example of our design cycle here, you can see all the pedals and the iterations that have gone through these. And we've tried different things as a team. So we've tried different heel cup designs for different shoes. We've done also toe cup designs if we want to be able to try to hold the driver's foot in a different position. And we have things like adjustability for different heights of drivers so that way anybody can work with those. Another reason that design is so critical and going through to make sure that everything fits beforehand before we start manufacturing is in a good example here. So underneath the seat, we have a firewall and then right underneath the firewall is then where you find the actual heat shield and the gas tank of the car. And then right under the heat shield is also the exhaust. There's a lot of tight packaging that has to happen in a Formula SAE car. Another example of the design cycle here at CVVFSE is all the aerodynamics work that goes in. So our aero engineers and mechanical engineers and others alike work tirelessly to fill all of these shapes in to see exactly how we want based on the simulations that we do for aerodynamics to improve upon aerodynamic efficiency. They come up with the main elements, secondary elements, tertiary elements, end plate designs and everything. And that's all for the effort of improving in our design.
is Derek Feitz. I'm a second year mechanical engineering major here at Cal Poly Pomona, and I'm the testing lead for Bronco Motorsports. As the testing lead, my responsibilities are everything from planning documentation to plan tests, to packing up the car and driving it out to our testing site. After the design and the manufacturing phases, we We enter the testing phase. The purpose of the testing phase is to validate our design choices and test the rel reliability of the car. Some of the components have already been simulated, but it is important to test all of the components of the car in a real world, real world scenario to ensure that they're reliable. A typical testing weekend starts on Friday evening. Uh, we start by taking the car for a shakedown run on campus. A shakedown run is essentially a quick drive of the car on campus to ensure there aren't any glaring issues and make sure the car is ready for testing over the weekend. After we shake the car down, we pack it up in the truck and trailer and get ready for the weekend. We start on a Saturday morning at sunrise by driving the truck and trailer out to our testing location. Uh, we unload the car and we start testing all the scheduled tests we had planned. Uh, we stop testing at sundown and then we, re we repeat the same process on Sunday. Um, it ends up being two full days of testing that give us lots of critical data that we need on the car. Uh, testing is a very crucial period for us uh, because it allows us to test the reliability of our components. It allows us to validate our design choices that we made on the car. It gives us a chance to tune certain aspects of the car like the suspension to make the car handle better and perform better on track. And it also gives us a lot of critical data that we can use to aid us in the design of next year's car. That's a quick summary of testing and I'll hand it off to Dakota from our business team. My name is Dakota Fripp. I am a business admin major here at Cal Poly Pomona. Um, for the Bronco Motorsports program, I am the business lead and treasurer. So working on the business side of Bronco Motorsports, you're gonna be involved with a lot of uh, working with sponsors, um, going on sponsor runs, uh, working in the marketing, uh, social media, uh, a lot of those kind of things. Um, I mean, it is a race car, so um, it's pretty exciting to be able to kind of uh, market and brand a race car. There's lots of sponsors you can go and talk to and deal with, so you're gonna be doing a lot of business to business, um, sort of uh, talking and uh, communicating, um, and also you're communicating with your teammates. There's a lot of engineers that are here um, that are working uh, with you on a lot of the projects, um, and at the end of the day, um, this, this is going to be something that costs a lot of money. So there's going to be a lot of money that, uh, or a lot of uh, finance reporting and cost reporting that you're going to be doing um, involved with the Bronco Motorsports program.